Today's topic, without further ado, is reflection or taking stock. So this is something really important, something that I've been overlooking and I had to have a friend give me a nice gentle reminder that sometimes on the path or the journey of growth or building self-consciousness, self-consciousness, that's not right, building, expanding on consciousness, building self-worth, building confidence, things like that. Um, that's what I'm trying to go for. When you're on that path, it's important to take a break and to pause, hold some space for yourself and reflect on everything you've done. Um, so I've been kind of on this journey for a while now, but really focused in on it in probably the last year or so. And for quite a while of it, I was just kind of go, go, go and um, trying to make changes as rapidly as possible and then getting overwhelmed and frustrated because I would feel like I wasn't moving fast enough. I wasn't learning enough about myself or the world around me. And I wasn't seeing the changes that I didn't know what the changes should be, but I was expecting to know some kind of change, to notice something. And uh, that wasn't happening when I was in it, in the middle of it. And I didn't realize that when you're in the middle of it, it's hard to see those changes because typically changes are small and gradual, especially if they're gonna be something that's sustainable, something that is a, a lifestyle change. You don't wanna to go too drastic with it. And I think I was expecting to have some drastic changes and uh, I wasn't seeing that. So I was getting, I was getting frustrated. Um, and that's where my friend kind of rec recommended or reminded me, hey, just take a break. Um, as if you were working out or exercising and sure, maybe you're doing it every single day, but you should have some breaks in between. You should have some rest days where your body can recover. Same thing, your mind, your soul, your psyche, whatever works for you needs time to recover as well. Um, and so I've been thinking about that a little bit. It's possible that um, just like when we sleep and we dream and it helps our brains reorganize our thoughts and it helps store memory and all that fun stuff that we're starting to uncover these days, um, I think the same holds true when it comes to self-development, that you need to allow your unconscious mind or subconscious mind um, the chance to sort of reintegrate everything you've learned. So you need to have that sort of time between or the rest. You need to rest between doing all this ego-centric work, you know, being very conscious, being, being very intentional. Um, you need to allow your subconscious or unconscious mind to process that stuff and have its own um, time to do that work as well. So it's very important to take a, take a break. So I recommend, um, I've, I kind of took like a week break. So I recommend like if you folks are on the same sort of journey and you've been going um, down this path for maybe six months or a year, take a few breaks from time to time. Go, go a week where you don't really think about working on yourself or trying to learn something. Just be at ease and kind of let go and go with the flow. Um, and what I like to do, what, I, what I've been trying to incorporate is sort of towards the end of that week when I'm getting ready to go back into um, learning about myself, learning about the mind, learning more about psychology, is sort of at the end of that rest week is to start reflecting on the things that have changed over the last six months, year, whatever, whatever period of break you're taking um, or whatever period you're coming out of and taking a break, taking a break to go into. I don't know. We'll figure it out. I'm going to try to do this without editing it. So you're going to get a little bit my, of my weirdness as I try to think through some of these thoughts. Um, so yeah, at the end of the rest week, I try to reflect back on all the things that have happened, all the things that I've learned. And it's pretty interesting because you start to see little things that add up to pretty large revelations. And that's really important because when you're in the middle of it, it's very difficult to see those small changes um, because they kind of happen day by day and they're very gradual and they build up to something larger over the months, the years, whatever. So what I'm trying to say is um, take a break and then perhaps to get yourself, get that energy going again, do some reflection. Um, take some stock in all that you've accomplished because you're going to be surprised. All right. Until next time. Peace.